Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Kata roti, this dish is made with shredded roti bread, vegetables, eggs, and your choice of meat or seafood, all stir fried together on a hot griddle with a variety of spices. Kata roti is a popular Sri Lankan street food dish made with chopped up roti bread, vegetables, eggs, and meat, all stir fried together with a variety of spices and sauces. The dish is known for its unique sound, as it is traditionally prepared on a hot griddle with two metal spatulas, which create a rhythmic clanging noise as the ingredients are chopped and cooked together. The ingredients for kata roti can vary depending on personal preference, but common ingredients include roti bread, onions, carrots, cabbage, leeks, peppers, eggs, chicken, beef, or seafood. The dish is often served with a side of spicy gravy or chutney. Kata roti is a popular fast food dish in Sri Lanka, and it can be found in restaurants, food stalls, and street-side eateries throughout the country. It is a filling and flavorful dish that is enjoyed by locals and tourists alike. Samosas, these savory pastries are filled with spiced vegetables, potatoes, or meat and are deep-fried until crispy. They are usually served with chutney or tomato sauce. Samosas are a popular savory snack in South Asian cuisine, particularly in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Nepal. They are typically triangular-shaped pastries made of a crispy, fried outer shell and a spicy filling, often made with potatoes, peas, onions, and various spices such as cumin, coriander, and turmeric, Samosas can be served as an appetizer or snack and are often accompanied by chutney or sauce for dipping. They can also be made with meat, such as chicken or lamb, or with cheese or other vegetarian fillings. In some regions, samosas are also sweet, with fillings such as sweetened coconut, nuts, or fruits. Samosas have become popular worldwide and can be found in many international cuisines. Fish buns, these fluffy buns are filled with spicy fish curry and are a popular snack in Sri Lanka. Fish buns are a type of bun that are filled with fish. They are a popular street food in many parts of the world, especially in Southeast Asia. The filling of fish buns can vary, but it typically includes a mixture of fish, herbs, and spices. The fish is often minced or finely chopped and mixed with ingredients such as onions, garlic, chili, and ginger. The mixture is then formed into small balls and placed in the center of a small dough circle. The dough is then folded around the filling and steamed or baked until cooked through. Fish buns can be eaten as a snack or as a meal, and they are often served with a spicy dipping sauce. They can be made with various types of fish, including mackerel, tuna, and salmon, depending on the region and availability of ingredients. Some variations of fish buns also include vegetables such as carrots or cabbage. Overall, fish buns are a delicious and popular way to enjoy fish as a street food or quick snack. Deviled chicken, a spicy and tangy chicken dish made with onions, garlic, chili, and vinegar. Deviled chicken is a popular street food in Sri Lanka. Deviled chicken is a spicy and flavorful chicken dish that is usually made with chicken thighs or drumsticks that have been marinated in a mixture of spices and then grilled or baked until cooked through. Here's a simple recipe for deviled chicken. Ingredients for chicken thighs or drumsticks, 2 tablespoons olive oil, 2 tablespoons Dijon mustard, 1 tablespoon honey, 1 tablespoon apple cider vinegar, 1 teaspoon smoked paprika, 1 half teaspoon cayenne pepper, 1 half teaspoon garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. Instructions. In a small bowl, whisk together the olive oil, Dijon mustard, honey, apple cider vinegar, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Place the chicken. Thighs or drumsticks in a large resealable plastic bag and pour the marinade over the chicken. 
Seal the bag and massage the marinade into the chicken, making sure each piece is coated. Refrigerate for at least one hour or up to overnight. Preheat the grill or oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius. Remove the chicken from the marinade and discard any excess marinade. Grill or bake the chicken for 20 to 25 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through and the juices run clear. Serve the deviled chicken hot, garnished with fresh herbs if desired. Enjoy your delicious and spicy deviled chicken.